Okay guys, we got this 17 RAV4. I think it might have been in a flood. We got everything apart. I was trying to communicate with it. But I'm not getting anything. We can turn the power on. 36,000 miles. Okay. So it does crank. I don't want to kill the battery. It charges up for me. But we don't get any cluster activity. See that? The cluster is like completely dead. So I'm going to quick check powers and grounds on a diagram. We'll see what's going on with this. Okay guys, so I was looking at the wiring diagram here for this uh, cluster. So we got this 5 amp meter fuse at the ju uh, junction box at the dash. And then we got this ECU B2 fuse. Hazard light fuse, which I'm not too worried about. And we got this fuse here. I didn't look to see where all they go, but I just want to check all these. See if we got power on them when we're supposed to. Because see, like it says hot with ignition. We they energized. So I'm going to check all these real quick. So guys, I just pulled the fuse box down and all this corrosion came out. Look at this. Look at these fuses. Oh, this needs a fuse box. It's bad. I'm going to see if I can wiggle some of these. Maybe get some stuff to power up. Okay guys, so I was looking at the network diagram and pins 6 and 14 from the DLC come over here to this gateway module. It says right end of dash. Um... I guess from there it goes out. So I guess we could check to see if there's power. Yeah, I don't even know if I really want to mess with this until we get a new fuse box because everything gets powered up off of that. So if we don't get power from the fuse box, nothing's getting powered up here. There's a lot of variables here. I'm going to tell them to get a new fuse box. Well, guys, on the back of the module, there was this module. I took the case off the module, too. Um, here's the module. This one doesn't look corroded, so I don't know why the fuse box is corroded. So I'm going to keep going up here and taking apart this fuse box and see if there's any corrosion inside this fuse box. I think they're going to need a new fuse box. Okay, guys, so I took the fuse box apart. All I see is this one pin right here. Looks kind of odd. The one pin right there. And then we got this pin over here. But like there's no signs of corrosion other than the fuses down here. It's weird. I'm going to see no signs of corrosion on this side. No signs down in these pins. It's really, really, really weird. Like it is like completely clean. It's almost like it had to run down the outside of the box and go in there. Well, that could be a possibility too. Maybe it ran down the outside of the box. So, I don't know. That's where I'm at right now. Guys, I found signs of corrosion. I didn't even notice that. Right there. Look at that. Maybe we can clean this up, put it back together. I'm going to have to go check that connector. Hey guys, here's our green pins. So it's this side, and there we go. So I'm going to get them cleaned up, and then we'll see if this works. Okay guys, so I hooked my... Uh, my lab scope up. And right now, our can network just shut off, I guess. So there we go, we turned the car on. And that's what we're getting. We got a radio. I don't know if the radio came on earlier or not. I don't think it did. So now that I cleaned those pins up, still don't have any dash lights. Um, but this is what we got here. Let's zoom out more. Oh, I'm gonna grab a scan tool, but that doesn't look like something's communicating. I'm gonna grab a scan tool. Okay, guys, so I manually ID'd the car, and now we got some modules talking here. So I'll let this finish scanning. So it looks like our networks are good. Yeah, it definitely looks like our networks are good. Central Gateway. Oh, that was odd. Why'd it kick us out? Center of my history. K 
Okay, so we're gonna scan this again. I'm gonna let this scan and then we'll come back to it. Okay, guys. Looks like we got a lot more modules now. So I'm gonna quick save this and we'll figure out why we can't communicate with our ECM in that. And we'll look up what all these codes are. Okay, guys, so here's our code. So we got this, uh, uh, where's it at? Let's see. Got this lost communication with lateral sensor, which we're not worried about. We got these history codes, lost communication with PCM, lost communication with TCM, which might be the same module. And we got, come down here, we got uh, history codes, not worried about them right now. I lost communication with ECM, lost communication with instrument panel, current, lost communication with ECM, voice recognition. Um, we had, a, I think there was a voltage code in here that I'd saw. Don't you worry about those. There's a lot of ECUs. Uh, ECU. Let's see, there was a smart key fault that said ignition voltage. Uh, I didn't clear it right here. Input and ignition voltage to a normal. So I want to check that out too. I want to see what powers up this ECU. Okay, so we got this ignition 2 signal malfunction. It says mismatch between steering lock, ignition ECU, input from the LIN system. So it says ignition fuse, steering lock, ECU, or harness. So we pretty much only have two things that could cause that code. So I don't know if that would stop our ECU from powering it. So guys, I'm going to check this, see if our relay is turning on here, this IGT2 thing, because that's what they were complaining about. I think it said ignition too. So I'm going to see, see, because this goes to the certification ECU and everything right here. So I'm going to see if uh, this is getting turned on, if we have power there. So guys, I have the relay in there, uh, IGT2 right here, IGT2, got the U activate, and we have no... Uh, power going to our pin 30 or uh, well pin 87 we have nothing going there so we gotta check our fuses so where's our IGT2 fuse gotta look for this thing let me find it real quick okay guys so I found it on here I don't know I was so blind it says a 15 amp fuse here look we have a 10 amp and if you look there's no fuse here Let's just put this fuse in. See what happens. Look at that, now everything powered up. He's missing a fuse too. Guys, now it powers up. 